Hello, my diamonds. Yes, yes, yes. It's that time again. It's story time. And we're going to call this one The Hidden Costs of Staying with a User. This is a mother's story. She's trying to break free after realizing that the man she's with is just using her and her kids for his own benefit. 28 years later, I never got it through my thick head that my kids and I were just a convenience to him. We made him look like a great father and a great husband. I dedicated 28 years to making sure he wouldn't have another reason as to why he sought out other women's friendships. It didn't work. I lost myself on the way. Now, separated, but he doesn't want a divorce. I am not stupid. He is still benefiting from us. Even now, after my son has dropped out of college and is basically a somewhat functioning individual working enough to buy weed, my ex tells everyone that listens to him how ungrateful his son is after all he did for him. But of course, it is my fault because I was a bad mother and people praise my ex for being such a good father for trying to teach his son better, unlike me. My daughter finished college and he brags about how he pushed her to finish school. When my daughter literally had to listen to her father tell her that going to school was a waste of time and she was going to end up just like her brother. I kicked him out. Word got to me that he is telling stories about how we used, we used him, how we stole his money, took advantage of him, and that I cheated on him. That's such a lie. I'm scared. He made sure my self-worth was broken. I work hard and have never asked for anything that I can't get myself. He tells me I was and will never be the woman he would love because I'm weak. But if I change and order my daughter to cook and clean for him like a good daughter, like a good daughter should, he would consider giving me another chance. If I change and tell my son, son, your pappy needs you to wash his car, mow the lawn, grill for him, cut your hair, bring your friends, you know, your girlfriends to hang out around the house, then he will reconsider giving me a chance. He keeps sending me pictures of trucks at dealerships. If I buy him a truck, he might reconsider again, giving me another chance. What to do, what to do, what should I do, Miss True Love? This guy is a jerk. Of course, I didn't tell her that. <laughs> but anyway, the answer I told her is I know this is a tough pill to swallow. But this dusty dude only seems to care about you and the kids when it benefits him in some way. The thought of being without a man can be hard for a lot of women to digest. I understand that. Questions like, what if I never find someone else who will love me? Or what if I can't make it on my own? And I said to her, beautiful lady, staying in a toxic relationship isn't the answer. Please try to build up your confidence and remind yourself that you are strong enough to make it without some circus clown. I know it won't be easy, but nothing worth having ever is. Women keep doing this to themselves and are so willing to sacrifice their own happiness for the sake of having someone around. Being single is not the end of the world. I'm single and I have never had a happier and more fulfilling life. My life is awesome now. I'm enjoying the single life and all the peace and freedom that comes with it. Also, did you ever try to stop to think that staying in a toxic relationship, it's not only damaging you, but it's also damaging your children. They see you putting up with mistreatment and they learn to think that that's okay to be treated this way. They learn that love is supposed to hurt. I know it's scary to start over, but you must know that you are capable of so much more than you're giving yourself credit for. Leaving is never easy, but staying is never worth it. 
So there you have it, my darlings, because the way it looks from over here, this dusty dude talking about he'll give her another chance. What? He should beg the, 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 the gods that her and the children will give him another chance or that they can even stomach looking at his crusty behind. Of course, I didn't write that part. Yeah, talking about if you change and if you tell your son, tell what? Tell him to mow the lawn, wash the car, grill for me, cut my hair, bring over his girlfriends. You know, he don't want the boyfriends over. Bring over your girlfriends to hang around the house. Yeah, then I might reconsider. Tell the daughter to why don't she, uh, what? Cook for me and clean for me. What, that child? The things women do trying to hang on to these dusty circus clowns. Anyway, my darlings, why did the, well, I forgot. There was a joke I wanted to say over here, but I forgot. Anyway, it, it escapes my mind. But there you have it, my darlings. Yeah, this is a woman who, uh, she has a dusty who wants to, um, you know, she realizes that she's with this using man, but I'm glad she says she kicked him out. I hope she keeps him kicked out. And uh, there you have it. Don't let this be you. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.